Hello and welcome guys, my name is Steve and welcome to my channel. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe if you aren't already. And in this video, we're doing another five minute Friday. So the topic we're talking about is five simple steps how to avoid over engineering. Yes, you are right, you heard it over engineering. Now you hear about this term a lot and even you yourself might be told that you are over engineering and uh, you might be confused with that term or you might be confused as to why are you doing that. So as I was saying by the end of this video I'm gonna give you five simple steps on how to avoid over engineering. So if you don't know what over engineering is or if you are uh, having a lot of issues with over engineering in your team hopefully this video is going to be of value and if you guys find any value by the end of this video or during this video in general make sure to like and share because this is gonna mean a lot to me and this also means you're not greedy and you will share something of value to somebody else. So that being said, let me go ahead and throw in five minutes on the clock. So first things first, what the heck is over engineering and why are we hearing this term a lot in teams, in uh, engineering projects and all that stuff? Well, to give you the simplest explanation on earth, over engineering is when you try to scratch your ear. So you have this here and you want to scratch it because it's annoying, right? So you uh, have like a couple of options to do it. You can either use this hand to scratch, you could use like your right uh, hand to scratch your right ear, or you could use the other hand like to scratch it like that, you know, or you could even somehow do it like that. Not that I can't do it, but the explanation is simple. Uh, don't scratch your uh, right ear with your left hand meaning don't try to complicate things and this is what really engineering is engineering is solving a problem over engineering on the other hand is when you try to do a lot of other things which is not required to solve that problem this is over engineering in very basic terms so the first simple step I recommend you do is make it work then make it beautiful meaning make your solution work it's as simple as that, like keep it stupid simple. Simply make it work in the beginning and chances are your solution will not change very much because once you have a workable solution, chances are you will only have to uh, adjust a couple of things, make it beautiful and uh, uh, adjust a couple of edges and your solution will be pretty much ready to go. So step number one, make it work, then make it beautiful. Now you hear a lot about knowing design patterns, about very cool and trendy technologies and the step number two that I recommend you do in order to avoid over engineering is do not use design patterns and solutions uh, for the sake of using design patterns and solutions. Maybe your project do not need those solutions. Maybe uh, there is no a specific case for using a specific pattern. So make sure you know the design patterns because you must know them. It's a good thing if you know design patterns, but also be mindful of where you use them. Be mindful of the situation you're in. Also, when it comes to trendy technologies, I know uh, the hype is big. I know uh, the temptation is big. So my advice here is make a little bit of research and when and if they are needed then and only then implement them otherwise just simply stick with simplicity stick with simple custom solutions so my third step or my third advice is a little copy paste is better than the wrong abstraction what do I mean by a little copy paste well there are cases in your code when you don't need abstractions because remember uh, we spend a lot more time reading the code rather than writing the code that's why simply copy pasting some logic from one service to another from one function to another uh, from one class to another, depending again on the ecosystem that you're using, is a whole lot better than writing a wrong abstraction. So my advice is better do a lot of research before you create an abstraction or simply use or stick to copy pasting because chances are if you do a lot of copy pasting in your code base, you will start to feel that there is a need to somehow abstract this part of the logic because I can see it here, I can see it there, and maybe we should come up with an abstraction. In that case only, you need an abstraction. In the rest of the cases, a simple copy-paste will do. Another mistake that I see people doing, myself included, as I said, is trying to cover every case on the whole planet, meaning you have a function and you're trying to cover everything, even things or cases which don't happen in real world, which don't happen in production. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't cover things which don't happen uh, uh, very often. I'm saying don't try to cover synthetical cases because first of all, you're not gonna be able to cover everything in the first place and second of all, there are cases which don't happen and if they don't happen in real world, don't waste your time writing that piece of code or those checks. And the last step or the fifth step in order to avoid over engineering is 
readability and maintainability is a lot more important than micro optimizations. Now, micro optimizations are usually those kind of optimizations which you're doing and they don't provide a significant uh, increase in performance. In a lot of the cases, micro optimizations or optimizations in general complicate things, make things unreadable or unmaintainable. And there are cases when you need that kind of thing. There are cases when you sacrifice a little bit of maintainability or readability in order to provide the highest performance but micro optimizations is simply not the case. So if you were to choose between micro optimizing a piece of code and making it more readable and more maintainable, I would choose the second option. And that is more important because as I was saying before, we do spend a lot more time reading code rather than writing code. So that's pretty much it on this episode of 5 Minute Friday. Comments are good. Make sure to comment below if you have anything uh, on your mind. However, if you wanna be part of a bigger community where we uh, talk things uh, more efficiently, make sure to check out the Discord server as well. And one more thing I forgot to mention is make sure in the comments below you type in those mistakes which you think are also related to over-engineering and I forgot to cover in this video. And at the end of the video, I wanna leave you with a quote which says, simplicity is complicated, but complexity pays off better. So this was pretty much it on this 5-Minute Friday and I'll see you guys in the next videos or in the next 5-Minute Friday. Peace!